All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, and today we have new HD screenshots to go over. Massive thanks to the Dragon Ball Games page over on Twitter. We're also going to be talking about some of the characters from the upcoming Master and Students trailer, which we still don't have an official release date just yet, but fear not. As soon as we get one, I'll be sure to let you guys know as soon as possible. So be sure to turn on post notifications, subscribe, and drop a like on today's video. Without further ado, let's hop straight into it so Videl is using one of her super attacks I believe Desperado Rush we're not entirely sure if Great Saiyan Woman is going to be in the game in Budokai Tekechi 3 that was a transformation and I believe they removed that in Raging Blast 2 but since this is obviously a true sequel to the Tenkaichi series it could be making its return not entirely sure this always makes me wonder are we going to be getting Spopovich in Sparking Zero because obviously he was in BT3 plus this was like Videl's first major fight in the anime so I wouldn't be surprised if he does make it in however I would not be surprised at the same time if he doesn't make it in because I feel like they need to save some of the 164 character spots for the main Z and Super characters and Z movie OG Dragon Ball and GT characters if they're going to be in the base game we still don't know for sure so that's a pretty cool screenshot right there. I really do like the stage in the background. Probably like the top two coolest stages in my personal opinion. This one and the next one being Destroyed Future in the Ruins. Massive shout outs to Super Saiyan Future Trunks. Of course, he is utilizing Burning Attack Frieza. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's just an epic scene, man. He literally popped up out of nowhere, destroyed King Cold and Metal Frieza with ease. Come on, Goku, step up your game. To be fair, remember, Goku could have appeared at a moment's notice with instant transmission if Frieza decided to do something. I believe that's what Goku stated in the uh, anime. And plus, I'm sure Goku, you know, got the Zenkai boost from the previous Frieza battle. So maybe Goku would have destroyed Frieza with ease um, as well. Which, yeah, I'm sure that's the case. Because remember when Trunks and Goku started fighting, you know, training, they have their spar. Goku literally deflected all of Trunks' major attacks, the same attacks that he destroyed Frieza with, with one hand, man. Oh, yeah, that just gave me a good idea. We need the Yardra outfit for Goku as well. Peak, peak gaming. Anyway, we have a better shot of the stage in the background. I really think this is the future ruins from Dragon Ball Super, just because of that green tint. You know, it's in the anime. And in Dragon Ball Z, it never had this green tint. It was more of an orange color hue in the background. So, for an example, we have this animated screenshot from Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Same vibe going on, right? Everything's all depressed looking. And I'm really looking forward to this stage just because of the environment itself. You know, the, the destroyed ground, the destroyed buildings, because... In Xenoverse 2, of course, we had the stage in the game. However, they gave us, like, an arena to fight in. You can see right here how there's literally nothing in the arena itself. Everything is in the background, right? It's basically like art in the background. But for Sparking Zero, you already know there's going to be debris in the actual battlefield. So we can take shelter behind buildings if they're strong enough to withstand a key blast attack which i'm assuming they might be because they're already destroyed i don't know how that's going to be in the actual game but you know what i'm saying we get to fly around the buildings throw the opponents into the buildings itself stuff like that makes sparking zero already one of the greats out there man budokai tegachi 4 i'm here for it moving forward we do have two other screenshots but we have seen these before uh piccolo using the mouth cannon attack and master roshi using turtle style shocking surprise whatever the name is something along those lines but yeah it's been confirmed we're going to be getting a different outfits because of course piccolo right here with the turban and weighted cape and as we all saw from the previous Piccolo announcement, he didn't have any of that. So again, I would like to see a Yard Drag Goku in Sparking Zero versus Trunks. How cool would that be? We can, you know, perform accurate anime fights. And here are all of the uh, recent HD screenshots that they dropped a couple days ago. We have Beerus. Man's just cooking up something. This is the secret ingredients right here. 
Trunks bass form again with the future in ruin stage in the background to be fair we're not entirely sure so they could technically consolidate both the Z and super future stages in one because it doesn't necessarily make sense of them showcasing the Z variation of Trunks in the DBS Future Ruins, you know what I'm saying? However, it will make sense if they consolidate both of them into one. Um, in Budokai Tekechi 3, of course, we had many different variations of the st same stage, so like Future Ruins, uh, Morning, Evening, and Nighttime, so I don't know how they're going to be doing things here. Early Gohan, Yamcha, Spirit Ball, and we have the rest of the VGM scan. So let's try to decipher the next HD screenshots that they're going to be dropping soon. We already got Beerus, Master Roshi, Yamcha, Piccolo, and Early Gohan. So the only one that we're missing from this VGM scan is Krillin. So they're probably going to be dropping that in the next bunch. For the second VGM scan, uh, we have Videl, Base Trunk Sword, and Super Saiyan Trunk Sword. So. We need Whis, Gohan Adults, Gohan Future, and Gohan Future Super Saiyan. So that's a total of five characters. So who knows? They might drop five HD screenshots in the next bunch. Looking forward to that. Now I really want to talk about some of the characters within the upcoming Master and Student trailer. So I've been seeing some people saying, why are they showcasing Krillin, Piccolo, and Yamcha when they've already been announced? Because you guys remember in the... Uh, first announcement trailer, we got this small teaser of Dragon Ball Super, Future Trunks, Piccolo, Krillin, Yamcha, Tien, Cell, Majin Buu, Hercule, Android 17 Super, Android 18, uh, Jiren, and Bergamo, right? They were all teased at the very end of the trailer. Well, that's just it, because they were only teased. They did not get their own respective themed trailer like how we got one for goku and vegeta all of their different transformations within the rivals trailer we then got power versus speed with all of these characters down here starting with super trunks ending off with hits so with that being said i do expect a future proper themed trailer for tn trunks or no we already got one for no trunks melee because we only got one for his super trunks form uh, Future Trunks from Super, Frieza Super, Cell Perfect Form, Majin Buu, Hercule, Android 17 Super, Android 18, Jiren, and Bergamo. Yes, I do expect to get a proper theme trailer for all of those characters I just named. I mean, imagine a proper Bergamo and Jiren trailer showcasing their combo strings and super attacks, right? Right? So that's why, in my personal opinion, they're showcasing Piccolo, Krillin, and Yamcha again. Because it was just, you know, like half a second teaser moment at the end of the announcement trailer. That's just nothing but pure speculation. Now for the actual uh, upcoming trailer itself. We still don't know when it's going to be dropping. However, the Bandai Namco Europe page did update the Sparking Zero playlist. So this is how it looked like before when they dropped the Power vs. Speed trailer, right? It says right here, one unavailable video is hidden. And at the top, it says one out of five. Of course, we have the first three trailers and the gameplay showcase, that's four. So the fifth one, a lot of people speculated that this could be the upcoming trailer, which to be fair, could definitely be the case. However, I don't think it is. I think Bandai Namco uploaded a second variation of power versus speed trailer because i do remember seeing a 4k version of the trailer somewhere and i'm sure it was from uh, Bandai namco europe but then they removed it and uploaded the 1080p one for whatever reason i don't know because the 4k variation was a bit nicer in my personal opinion anyway so that's what i think this was ages ago a lot of people talked about this you know months ago when they dropped the trailer but however again they updated the uh, playlist right here it says updated yesterday Bandai Namco Europe and they removed this hidden video now it's just the four proper ones right so but the main point is that they updated the playlist so they could be getting ready for the new upcoming fifth trailer right or technically fourth if we're not counting the showcase anyway you know what I mean the master and students trailer uh, they might be getting ready for that they just updated the playlist yesterday, so it's looking good, it's looking good. Stay tuned to the channel. My personal 
prediction is that they're going to be dropping the trailer in the next couple of weeks. I speculated that it could be around Goku Day, May 9th. Why do I think that? Well, because I kind of did the math a little bit. So we got the announcement trailer December 7th, 2023. 52 days later, we got the Rivals trailer on January 28th, 2024. Another 52 days, we got the Power vs. Speed trailer on March 20th, 2024. So maybe another 50 or so days, we could be getting the upcoming trailer because if we're following the pattern, it's about every 50 days or so uh, that we get a new trailer so far, right? So if we count another 50 days from the uh, March 20th Power vs. Speed trailer, then it's around Goku Day, May 9th. I believe 52 days exactly would be May 11th. So that's just my prediction. It could be early May that we're going to be getting the trailer or or it could be a bit sooner because they're already promoting, right? With the HD screenshots. I mean, we just got a couple new ones today with this one right here and Trunks. They're doing things a bit differently for this one. I don't know why, because usually we get the V-Jump scans, then we get the official trailer, then we get the HD screenshots from the trailer, right? That's usually how it goes, but since they're throwing out the HD screenshots first, what are they going to be promoting afterwards? Because, yeah, it's a bit weird, but anyway, anyway, that's nothing but speculation. Stay tuned for more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero news, info, and updates. Remember, as soon as the trailer drops, I'll let you guys know. Frame 1. Thank you guys for the immense support as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!